Hello everybody and welcome to another Starfield shipbuilding guide. Today we have a special treat for you all. Dick Big Industries has been contracted by Style of Thug to do a limited run of this beautiful ship behind me. He is calling it the V8. It is a ship modeled off the cars of the old earth. Without further ado, I would love to introduce you all to the V8. marketing team over at HQ always nails those little clips. Now before we move on here to the stats, let's talk about what skills you're going to need to take this ship home off our lot. We are going to need piloting level 4 because this is a class C ship. You are going to need starship design level 4 for some of these parts and you're also going to need level 60 and if you want to match my stats, most of your starship skills are going to have to be level 4 or higher. Now let's back on out of here and go over here. Remember, this is a collector's edition ship. It is like a limited run. It's not meant to be your primary or anything. This is just a show and off ship and have fun building it kind of ship. So let's go over these stats real quick. The fuel, 550. That's more than enough to jump across the entire galaxy with the appropriate equipment and skills. It is a hull of 1,494. A cargo of 7,140. That is respectable for this kind of craft. It has this reactor of 40, a crew of 7, a jump range of 30, a shield of 2,560. Again, there's manufacturing defects with shields. This number might change for you. It's really hard to nail this down, and we'll refund you some credits, as always, at Dig Fig Industries, if you are unhappy with your purchase. We have weapon systems here, and you have an estimated value of around 400,000 credits. It is safe to bring if you want to bring this thing home, and is a mass of 2,423. This ship does have a low mobility of 36 with a top speed of 140. Kind of resembles the craft of old. They weren't really good at turning, but they could fly in a straight line living your life a quarter mile at a time is what i think they used to say back then i don't know it's not an old earth movie somewhere maybe you guys know what i'm talking about but either way this is the v8 now let's go do a quick walk around of this beautiful ship right here check it out we went portholes to represent the headlights from back in the day i think down here they used to put like a registration number or something i think it was some sort of plate over on old earth i'm not exactly up to date on my history of old earth but we come around here we went with hope tech to go with their big old tires that they used to have on these like some meaty drag tires on this thing got some imitation mirrors up top these beautiful little doors here overall style thug you did an amazing job designing this it actually looks really really cool it's got some some sleek lines on it and like it's amazing how well it all plays together all things considered got this beautiful triple exhaust coming out the back here that's the limitation little plate placed back here again because i think some places required you to have it on the front and back you got your tail light set up back here nice little spoiler up there which is really hard to see from this angle let me jump on up here a nice tiny little spoiler just a little thin at the back help the redirect air up over the back you got these two giant Hope Tech landers again. This imitation door here looks really, really cool, especially with the mirror up there. Then there's just like the giant blower on top for when you really, really gotta live life just a quarter mile at a time. Some might say, I think it was like an old Earth movie that said that at some point. Just looks so cool and fits so well up here. Like a little ram air coming up the front. Oh, old earth. You got this beautiful little mock windows here. Overall, it's just a really impressive job. Thank you, Thug of Design, for coming up with this and letting us share it. We're going to come down here and we're going to begin our interior tour of said V8 ship. Whew. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. It is a satisfying moment to return to my are haha <laughs> some might say we're gonna start off this tour in a little armory here a place to put all your gear and your weapons and like you know some unfortunate prisoners if you ever do find some then we're gonna come through here into the workstations always need a space to do some field repairs up in space very practical down here we will be heading up a few ladders here unfortunately the ship does have ladders coming to an all in worth just kind of like a general hub of the ship here where you can cook some food to the table sleep at some bunks come on to the right here and you've got this beautiful just little control command room right here come on to the other side you've got a rough build of it here it's like some some barricade doors here just to keep yourself nice and safe in the heat of moment if you get jumped we'll do in your quarter mile run because sometimes your victims Hello, are there. not always fun and fond of it come in here you got a nice little infirmary because again it is a hero ship and we know you heroes like to get up into some trouble here and, and your companions can't always keep up we're gonna go up one more level here jump on up 
And now we are just in a beautiful little another sleeping area here where your crew can rest in here. Good barracks, have quick access to the bridge here. Come through here, and just like that, that is the primary tour of the ship. The beautiful Cabot C4 bridge that we all know and love. A little storeroom back here to keep all your goodies, some nice little extra NOS tanks and stuff. If you're going to run a nitro system in this, you got to go fast. Now let's quickly jump over and get into the build guide side of this video. Bam! Just like that, we're over here at the ship we're going to turn into the V8. This is the Rambler 2. It's like 70 grand ship at New Atlantis. This is what I'm starting with. You can start with any ship you want. I make all of these videos on the assumption that every single piece on your ship is getting deleted. It's getting yeeted out of existence, so it doesn't matter what you bring. This being said, we're going to make myself big, so this comes through clear here. I'm going to call this an advanced ship building guide. We're going to be using glitches, like drop glitches, double drop glitches, rotation glitching, uh, lots of times of glitching. You will need an outpost landing pad to build this ship. It's the first time Big Fig Industries has ever done that. But to do all these glitches appropriately and the way they're all throughout the ship, there's no real way to do this at a final port when you have all the parts. It really is just going to be doing that landing pad outpass. So if you don't have that, you should go make one. They're super easy to do. And we're gonna move on with this video. I will do my best to explain some of these glitches the first time I use them. But overall, hopefully you're a little bit familiar with them and you're not, you're about to get familiar with them. It's a good learning point here. So let's get on to the shopping list part. Our first stop is gonna be over at Neon City. So we're gonna back on out of here. Turn a tab out of him twice. Hit tab again, go to our little map here, zoom out, zoom out again. We're going to fly over here to Volley 2 is what we're looking for. We're going to click on Volley 2, and we're going to go to Volley 2 Alpha. Then on Volley 2 Alpha, there will be the Neon Explored or Neon Core. We're going to just the Neon here, not the Neon Core. And we're going to wait for this beautiful loading screen. Apparently, I took this screenshot at some point. That had to be really early in my playthroughs because... I haven't used one of those ships in a long, long time. It's a long loading screen. We'll see you guys when it's done. Just like that, the loading screen's over. You can see here our ship is right behind us. We're going to take a quick left here to go to the ship service building. You can see what this looks like here. And inside, there should be Anything this gentleman. Usually he's sitting in his chair, but for me, he's standing on his desk. Hey, he's just eager to see me. What can I say? We would like to view and modify sure. our ships. Oh, thank you. Then we're going to go in Shipbuilder. Then we're going to purchase the items on this list on my screen. It's a really short, short list. There's only two things here. So, uh, yeah. You should pause it. And if you haven't paused it, you should definitely pause it. Pause it like a piece of pizza, piece of pause, 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 pause. I don't know what any of that meant, but hopefully you've paused it. I will see you on the other side. Now that you've completed that shopping list, you should have a schmandering of these two parts on your screen. Uh, to Sasukusu. 50k missile launcher probably butchered that cannot pronounce that first word to save my life and one pinch 8z reactor that's all we're gonna buy here uh, i do get a lot of comments people showing dig show how you stuck these things on your ship to uh, make the frankenstein ship so you can see here i yeeted a piece off the side to stick a reactor i yeeted the missile launcher off the top of the rambler and stuck that missile launcher on it and now because we have a reactor we cannot have two reactors so i will delete that reactor i'll bump this thing right there leave it right there and move that forward now everything should be connected here we should have one air here it says unassigned ship weapons we will come in here we will assign that missile launcher to a point here, and just like that, Frankenstein ship number 2.6408 has been created for this build, and we'll back out of here and head on to our next destination. Our next destination should be in the soul system here on Titan. Once we back out of here, we're gonna open the map, click on this, tab out again, tab out again, zoom out, we out, because we love zooming out. We're gonna come over here to Soul, right above Alpha Centauri. I'm gonna click on this, zoom on in here. Titan is gonna be all the way up here in this left-hand corner. And click on Titan. We're going to come around to New Homestead and we're going to land at New Homestead here. And I will see you guys after the loading screen. Just like that, we've arrived at New Homestead, the beautiful little snowy area here. We're going to talk to the nicest gentleman in the entire game right here. We're going to click and modify our ship. Once we're in here, you're going to buy this huge shopping list of a singular item. So you should pause this like a paper bottle pauses paper puddle puddles. I don't know what puddle puddle is. It's just gibberish. Hopefully you've paused it. If you haven't paused it, then you can go backwards in the video and pause it. So I'll see you in just like that after completing this epically massively huge shopping list. You should have one Cabot C4 bridge. That, that's it. Uh, so I'm going to delete my cockpit, delete the tile braking engine below it, and just stick this thing right on the front. And then we're good to move to our next destination, which will be, except 
back out of here twice. One more time. We're going to open our map. Zoom out, zoom out. And we are going to be looking for the beautiful car. La, la, this one. Norman. Norain is what we're going to be looking for. 100% nailed that one. We're actually heading to Volo underneath it here. So we're going to head into Volo. We're going to click on Pablo. And then we're going to come over here and go to Hometown. I may or may not have not played this game for like a week. And once we land at Hometown, we'll be good. Bam. Just like that, we are here. And for whatever reason, everyone is what is that spider-man dude doing i don't even have questions my ship technician is standing up on a wall too he just wants to talk down to us today we're going to talk to him we're going to go into our ship builder and once we're in here we're going to buy this another huge long shopping list that you should see on your screen here and uh you should definitely pause it like pogo sticks pop on paparino pepperoni pom-poms what is wrong with me? Hopefully you've paused it in my shenanigans. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just, we're gonna move on. Just like that, you have completed the shopping list and you should have four Hope 55 landing gears. These big boys are gonna be just stuck on the side here. So I'm going to delete my current landing gear, that little back piece, that other landing gear on the bottom, that thing, that piece, that piece, just like that. I'm going to stick one right there on this side, hit Z to rotate around, stick it here. And because this is an advanced shipbuilding guide where we will be using exploits, I will be deleting that or glitches, one would say, not exploits. We're going to put this here. I'm going to hit on a mouse and keyboard. I'm going to hover over it. I'm going to hit spacebar so it's attached to my mouse. I'm going to reach here. See how it's red? I'm going to hit Z, Z, escape. Bam, just like that. It is stuck in there. It's a rotation glitch. So we're going to do the same thing over here. I had it here. I hit spacebar on it. I brought it over here. I hit Z, Z. And then double out of it. And just like that, these things are actually part of the ship. Make sure they are. Double click it. And we are going to be moving on just like this with Frankenstein ship. Now, we are going to be heading to your outposts. Wherever you've built your base, built your outposts, and built a landing pad at your outposts is the next stop on this list. So don't follow me. Just go to yours. And I will see you there. Just like that, we're at an outpost. You can see mine is nothing special here. I just went to some old outpost that I don't even use anymore. This is my very first outpost I think I ever made. And I've torn most of it down and moved it elsewhere. We're gonna come up here and we're going to go to the ship builder control console. We are going to do view and modify ships. We're gonna click on ship builder. And just like that, we are in here. Before we get into any shopping or buying here, we need to remove the stuff we have bought from the ship. So I'm gonna take off my landing gear, take off my cockpit. Just kind of yank these things all off to the side. Uh, we're going to misclick there. We're going to take this rocket launcher off. We're going to double click on the whole rest of your ship and yeet it. This ship is very close to the part limit. So you actually need to delete all of the old parts here. And this is everything you should have from the other stores. And then we can do the shopping. And you are going to purchase this shopping list on your screen that has popcorn popping pencils in Peter's pocket. That's what we went with. That's what's going to be here. At this shopping list and there's actually a second shopping list which i'm gonna put on your screen here in a second after you pause it hopefully you pause it okay now you also want to buy all the stuff on this shopping list and you should definitely pause it like parker peter's pie pan peter peter pan's pie i'm just saying p words and i'm running out of p words i can think of off the top of my head so pens that's where we're going we're ending on pens hopefully you pause it now, uh, once we've bought all that stuff, now that you've finished those two giant shopping lists that are actually genuinely huge, you should have this giant shamandering of parts all over your screen here. So let's go over these. You should have three equipment plates. You should have four porthole fours. You should have 16 Demos bumper port fours. You should have 21 Demos hull A's. You should have one Demos spine F4. Four Demos wing A ports. One Hope Tech Nose B4, three Nova Calling 1 LTFs, 16 Nova Calling 1 LPF, two Nova Calling 2 LPFs. You could have two Stroud Braking Engines, two Stroud Cap A Port 4 Tops, two Stroud Cap B Port Fs, four Stroud Cap C F Tops. Two Stroud engine bracer rays, three Stroud mid bracers, two, we're at three, it's three, it's three Stroud nose cap B4 tops. You should have two Tayo cowling four tops, one Tayo end cap port, six Tayo mid cap port tops, two PBO 175 helion beams, two 
Eliminator 8000 Suppressor, probably mispronouncing that one. One ship bed 200 landing bay, three galleon S204 cargo holds, one 100 DP slim docker top, two white dwarf 3030 engines, two Dunn 71 engines, one H40 Atlas HE3 tank, one NG340 grav drive. Three Demos all in one burst, two times one. Four Tayo all in one burst, two times one mid. One Tayo companionway, one times one mid. And one Assurance SG1800 shield generator. Now, again, this build will require a bunch of glitches. I'm going to lay out all my parts and the way I'm going to build with them, which is mainly just drag this up here. And then I'll show you if you want to match what I've got going. Now I've dragged up all my other pieces and this is the milling I'm going to be building with right here. So if you want to try and match this milling here, this layout, uh, you can. It might help you a little bit. I know it's a little bit cumbersome on console, but if not, so be it. Perpetual Chaos is awesome and just roll with it. Now, I guess let's just begin the building process. And see how much of I remember it because Style Thug made this one really fun to make. Ship bed 200 landing bay is what we are going to be starting with. I am just going to drag it all the way out here to the front. It's kind of where I'm going to be building from this angle. We are then going to grab two of our tile all in one bursts. I'm going to transform this one into the armory to start there. We're going to grab our second one. I'm going to transform this into the workstation by hitting the arrow keys on the keyboard. The workstation, there you are. Stick that one right there. Then we are going to grab our grab drive, which I put all the way over here. The NG340 grab drive goes right on the back. You'll see how it's sticking one up, not down at the bottom, but one out the top. I'm gonna come out here and grab our pinch 8Z reactor. I'm gonna drag that one to the back. My dog is coming in here to say hi, cause he hears me talking. And so yeah, this is the layout you should have. It should be the docker, then the two maze, and then these are sticking one up. You can definitely see the orientation here really, really nicely. And we're going to grab some of our Demos Hall A's here. First one's gonna go there. I'm gonna mirror it on that side. I'm just gonna throw all these down and then I'll show you the orientation here. We're gonna have this gaps in between each one down here. So you can see that the base just completely sticking out the front. It's the beginning of this, the beginning of this one. Then we're looking at that layout. Now we're going to come down here and grab both of our shroud wingy bit thingies or what I call them. That's not their actual name, but I can't visually see them. These things, shroud engine bracer A's. We're gonna grab these two things, come around here and I'm gonna stick these to one to each side of the ship bed 200 landing bay. You can see the orientation just sticking right out in front of these, super nice and easy here. Then we're going to grab another one of our tile all-in-one bursts. We are going to transform this one into an infirmary which allows you to have your med station and research station. It's going to go right on top here, right in front of this NG340 grab drive. And we're going to grab two of our Demos hulls right here. I'm going to take this first one and we're going to turn this into a computer core. And it is going to go right here on this side here. We're going to take the second one and we're going to turn this into a control station. This allows you to get your crew numbers all the way up. But you can see the orientation here where it's lined up at the back of this grab drive and with the Tayo Infirmary, which now that I think about it, isn't supposed to be a Tayo Infirmary. This is supposed to be a living quarters. Uh, so you're just gonna change that one real quick because, you know, it gets a little messy when you're making these ships. Then we're going to grab two more Demos Halles. They're gonna go underneath here. I'll show you orientation in a second, but they're gonna continue this one space gap in between. So these are going to be attached to the back and bottom of your Demos control station and your Demos computer core over here is how these are going to be attached. And we are going to come over here and grab our two Dunn 71 engines. I'm going to bring them into the workstation. Now I'm going to be putting them one at a time right here, sticking off the back of the last Demos Hull A's we put here, just like this. And I'm going to grab another Demos Hull A, and I'm going to stick it right in between the two of them. I'm going to double click on the whole ship a lot during this just to make sure everything's attached, because when we start getting into the glitching and stuff, having things unattached is a really, really bad day. Now we're going to grab two more of our Demos Hall A's and we're going to place these right here above these engines like so. You can see the orientation so they're lined up with this top part of the reactor hovering over these engines right here. Now, we're well then going to grab two of our Galleon S4 cargo holds. And these are 204, I don't know what I called these, the Galleon S204 cargo holds. And these are going to go up here into the front, so in, behind, yeah, behind the Stroud engine bracers, but up one level. You can kind of see what we're talking about here. Then we'll also just grab our last, our last Demos all-in-one here, and we're just going to stick this right here. This is what actually gets transformed into the infirmary, just like that right there. 
So now you've got almost two layers of this ship. You've got the cargo holds up here, this over here. You can just kind of get a little view of what we're working with here. Now we're going to get into our first glitch, which would be the drop glitch. So we're going to take these two shroud braking engines. I'm going to bring them into the workstation. I'm going to place one on top of the front of this cargo hold and the other on top of that one. Now, so for this glitch to work, I'm going to explain how to do it on mouse and keyboard. Um, you can look up the orientation of buttons on a controller and do it that way. But I am going to hover over this. I am not going to click it or select it, the Stroud Braking Engine. I'm going to be looking down at an angle. Sometimes this works, sometimes does it. Then I'm going to hit Alt-G to copy it. And then I'm just going to click. You saw how I copied it and it automatically snapped down one and was able to go in. You can see now how it is glitched in here. And then we would delete the top one and just like that, the Stroud Braking Engine is part of your ship and it's glitched through just like that. So now I'm gonna repeat it over here. Just mouse over it, no clicking. I'm gonna hit Alt and then I'm gonna hit G and it automatically snaps down. Then I'm gonna click it into place. Then we're going to delete the top one and just like that, we are completely done with our Stroud Braking Engines. They are snapped into place. I will double check everything made it in there with the nice little chip check here. Drag it around, make sure everything's attached. Yep, we are completely good there. Now, we will move on to our next drop glitch. It's going to be coming back here, these Demos Hull A's that are just floating up here in the sky. We are going to hit Alt-G on those, and they're gonna drop down into this engine just like so, you can see it here. I'm gonna repeat that on this side. Oh, I forgot to do an important part of this build. We're going to take a break. We're gonna come all the way over here to our ship parts little milling area. We are going to delete the PB-175s, and we are going to delete two of the equipment plates. This gives us the part limit to do some of these glitches. I meant to do that at the beginning, but now that those pieces are deleted, you can come over here and Alt-G this, and just like that, it snaps down, then is the drop down glitch. We're not gonna delete the top ones here. We're actually gonna leave those ones there. Then we're going to find our three Stroud mid bracers. I'm going to bring all three of mine into the workstation. You can do yours one at a time. Then these are going to get snapped up here on this level, just like this. Bam, show you the orientation. All three of these Stroud mid bracers are on the back of the ship, just like this. We're going to do a double check here and make sure everything's attached because sometimes these glitched pieces don't really like to do it, but they've worked this time. We are then going to grab our Hope Tech Nose B. I'm going to hit Z to transform it into an aft and we're going to snap it right there on the back of this thing. Then we're going to grab all four, this two, it's just two of our portholes here. What am I looking for here? We're going to grab two more Demos Hull A's and these are going to get attached to the front of our Galleon S204 cargo hold. So up here, you can see one there. We're gonna do one right on the other side of this one, like so. So now these are snapped into place here. Then we are going to grab two more. And these are going to go behind the cargo containers on both sides here, just to finish off this level almost. It's like that. So you've got two demos behind the cargo, one in front of it, one in front of it, two behind it right here just like so. And then we are going to grab our Tayo end cap port. We're going to bring it into the workstation here. I'm going to stick it right in here and you see how it's red. We're going to do the rotate glitch. So I'm going to put it down. So from hands off, do on the keyboard. I'm going to hover over. I'm going to hit space bar on my mouse keyboard so it's attached to my mouse. I'm going to put it in there where it's red and I'm going to hit Z, 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 triple Z. And I'm going to hit the escape key to deselect it. And just like that, it is now part of the ship. Uh, apparently this one is not part of the ship. So we're going to select it and reapply it. That's what I was talking about, where sometimes these bits and bobs don't like to attach to the ship. We are then going to come over here, and I'm going to grab all four of our portholes, which we're just going to bring into the workplace. Again, you can do these all one at a time. I just think it's nice and easy to control click them on console, on PC. I'm not on a console. And we were going to put these right here on these Demos hulls that are right in front of the Scallion cargo hold, right next to the Tayo end cap at the front. Those are going to be your headlights. We're going to swing around. I'm going to hit Z to transform this into a rear facing one. Hit Z again to transform it rear facing here. And these are going to be your imitation tail lights sticking out the back. Now we get into the fun bits of attaching all of the outer stuff here. We're going to just grab, I'm going to grab a whole bunch of these. We're going to use a lot of them. You don't have to, you can do yours one at a time. I just like mine in my workspace. We're going to take these, we're going to attach them to the front here. We're going to attach them to the front at the top, just like so. I'm going to mirror it to this other side and do the same thing. Just like that, and then we're going to take one of these and we're going to transform it into a two by two. And then I'm actually going to grab all these and just do three at a time. 
Bam. Transform these into Demos bumpers, the long version, by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. Then we're going to double arrow over to transform this into the rear facing ones here. And just like that, you can see how we now have this whole completed bottom side right here. We come around here, I'm going to do the same thing here. We're going to transform three of these into the long versions. I didn't grab enough. Where did I hide these things? Over here, one more, we'll do that. I'm going to bring one more in the workstation, transform it to the rear facing version. Let's just do this in a different order this time. Hey, I didn't want to add a part. I want to add these to my ship. And there you go. Zoom in, give you guys some orientation. You can see the back and the bottom row of this. Completely seamless, just like so. And uh, when I flip to the bottom there for a second, I've meant to grab my 100 DP slim docker top. I'm going to come over here. We're going to look underneath our ship. We're going to stick it right here in the front little area, just like that. You can see the orientation from under here. I know it's really hard to work under your ships in this game. But you're going to have the docker. You're going to have your first tile armory. And it's the very first slot right at the beginning of that. Puts that nice little docker module right there. Okay, now we're going to attach a few of our cowling 1LPF. So I'm just going to grab four to start here just to bring them into my workstation. I take one. I'm going to hit arrows twice to turn it into a rear facing one. Then I'm going to attach it to the back here. I'm then going to do the same to this. And then I'm going to hit Z to flip it. We're going to attach it to the back on this side. You can see this is the tail light section, the little license plate thing back here, the exhaust. This is going to be on the Stroud thing facing the back, just like so. Then I'm going to grab my next one. I'm going to hit arrow key over to turn it into a Nova Cowling 1LP. We're actually going to leave a gap between the Nova Cowling 1PA and this 1LPM right here. So we're the little gap we're going to leave. Then we're going to attach this little round a bit right here, just like that, to finish that off. I'm going to grab two more of these and I'm going to need to mirror it on the other side. So again, I'm going to hit arrow key over, then I'm going to hit Z to flip it. Now we're going to do the same here. Flip it twice. I didn't mean to actually do that. Just wanted to flip it and you don't need to transform every single part in the whole universe. And then we are going to grab two more of these, the uh, Demos bumper port fours, and I'm going to rotate them. Hit Z twice to flip them over, and we're going to put that right in front of the piece we just put on, arrow over, and it goes right here. So there's going to be a two gap in between the Demos bumper port 4 and the Demos bumper port aft right here. We will fill this in here in a minute, but for now there is a gap. We are then going to take all four of our Hope 55 landing gears and bring them over here. Then we're going to do the rotate glitch to get these to fit in their little homes here. So again, I hover over it, I hit spacebar. I hit Z to rotate it once to get it to kind of be where I want it to. We're going to hit ZZ and escape. Uh, you can see we want these attached to the Galleon S204 cargo hold. And they are not sticking out the top here because these are too wide. So it's actually glitching through this piece down here. And the same with over here. It's in that little gap we left right there. Now we're going to do the same on this side. ZZ. And grab it again. Bring it here. ZZ. And just like that, those are glitched onto the ship. Apparently this piece here didn't attach. It's always good while you're building to check these before you get too far in and something's unattached by doing the double click. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. Now we're going to do some double drop glitching here. We are going to hit Control G on this Demos Hall A and I'm going to put it right above one. So it's right here. Then we're going to do that again to make this a two stack sticking out the top up here. Then we're going to grab our last two Demos bumpers. And then I'm going to transform these into their long versions, the Demos bumper port mid. I'm going to throw that one over there for its orientation. We're going to hit Z here. We're going to attach this to this top one where it's green. Now we're going to do the drop down glitch. I'm going to hover over this. I'm going to hit Alt G till it snaps down. Alt G again. Oh, we are having a build error. Interesting. So that's going to be problematic later. Somehow I have too many parts. So we're going to delete that one. And then I'm going to click here and do an Alt G and go down again. And then eat that. We're going to eat that and eat that. So the final product looks like this. You're going to have this bumper glitched into this Nova Hope landing gear here. And that's all it is. Did I say Nova Global? Nova? Nova Hope. It's a Hope 55 landing gear. I'm losing it. Forgetting how to speak. It's kind of how it be. Oh, we're going to do that thing again here where I'm going to hit Alt G to copy this Demos Hall. It's just placeholders. It's a place to attach this thing. Then we're going to come up here. We're going to glitch down this one. I'm going to delete these two so I have the part limits to do this. Alt G it again so it goes down one more time. Eat those. And just like that, we have a completely finished bottom two layers of this ship. 
looking really good really good platform to work off on the top here before we get into some of the more complicated stuff now we're going to come over here and grab our last tile all-in-one berth two times one mid and i'm going to leave this as an all-in-one you guys can turn this into whatever you want this just gives a few more passenger slots and we're going to stick this right almost in the middle of the ship so it's covering the re grab drive and on the back one of these tile living quarters, you can see the reactor sticking out the bottom and there's still one of the living quarters underneath it in between the both Demos computer holes over here. That's the orientation we're looking for for that particular object. Then we are going to grab our two Demos holes here and we're going to put one on each side like so. And we're going to grab two more and we're going to strap them just like this. So you have two Demos hull A's on both sides of this tile all in one. Then we are going to grab our three Nova Cowling 1L TFs. I'm going to bring them to the back here into the workstation. I'm going to fix my camera angle because we're at a plus 11 causing some errors here. We're going to double up these and these are going to each one of these is going to go on the back of your car. Just like this, you can see that they are on top of the Stroud mid bracers, just like here right above your taillights. This one actually wasn't attached like I said it was. So this is going to be the foundation of our little spoiler we've got going here. And we're going to Alt-G this demo hole. We're going to do some more drop glitching here just to make that go up there. And then we're going to grab three of our Stroud Cap C aft tops. I'm going to bring them into our little workstation here. We're going to attach one of these to this. So you're going to see this like little gap floating here. And then we're going to do the drop glitch by looking down towards this Stroud Cap C. And we're going to Alt-G it. And then we're going to delete this. And we're just going to move this Demos Hall A. We're going to be doing this across the entire top here, all three layers of it. Get this to snap right there. Do a drop down. Delete this. Move this over one. Hover over here. Come on up. Click on this. Drop down that glitch. Hit delete. Now that we're done with that Demos Hall A, delete it. So your back is going to be this. It's going to be these three Stroud Cap AF tops glitched into the Nova Cowling 1LTFs on the back of your ship just like this. It actually works out pretty well here. It's fairly simple to do. We are then going to come over here. I say come over here and we are going to grab our Cabot C4 bridge. Uh, before we do that, we're just going to put it off to the side. We're actually going to tuck away and hide some things here. We're going to grab our H40 Atlas 3, HE3 tank and our Surance SG1800 shield generator. I know, perpetual chaos is where I live. We are going to come here and look at this car from the side. You're going to see your Galleon S204 cargo holds. Then there's two Demos hull A's behind them. We're going to yank these out here temporarily, just like so. This might actually cause some connection glitches in the long run or errors, but we'll fix those here in a second. We're going to attach our H40 Atlas HE3 tanks to the side of this right behind that cargo hold. And we're going to take our Assurance SG1800 shield generator. We're going to stick it in here on top of this Demos hull. Now you can see there's this big hole here. We're going to copy one of these Demos hulls and I'm going to put it above there. And you guys know what's coming. We're doing a drop down glitch. So just like that, we're popping that down there. Just like this. Sometimes when you do that drop down glitch, it'll try and attach it to above it or it'll try and attach it in itself. If you just go with it, so like if it jumps up one and attaches to itself one higher, just leave it there and then do the drop down glitch on the bottom one again, it'll go down that time and then just delete the two top ones. And if you do that and it wants to put two of them inside of each other in the middle, just go with it and then keep doing it until it actually sends it down one. And then you can just delete all the extra ones. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, for whatever reason, it's working damn near perfectly every single time this time. So I have yet to have a chance to display that to you. We're going to grab this Demos Hall A. We're going to move it over one. We're going to take this Demos Hall A. We're going to attach it back in its spot. I must be very high in my camera angle. It is causing lots of freaking movement errors. And now we're going to drop glitch this. Ah, exactly. You see how now it's green, but exactly inside of itself. I'm just going to go, okay, you can do that. Then I'm going to hit all G and then I'm going to delete these two and this one. So now you have your shield generator hidden. The fuel tank is hidden. Underneath these two things here, we are going to double click and make sure that those things are attached. Sometimes they become unattached and we have to redo it. But for now, everything is attached and looking good. Drag it around a little bit. We're doing good. And now we will grab our Cabot C4 bridge. And I will bring this up here just like this. So now it's sticking attached to this Demos Hall A, the all-in-one berth and the Demos Hall A on the other side. And it's sticking one up. There's a complete opening on the back here. I'm starting to lose my voice doing this. But we are going to come up here and we are going to grab the Tayo Companionway 1x1 mid. And it is going to come all the way up top here. 
and attach to the back of the ship like this. And actually, I'm gonna grab the entire ship, I'm gonna hit spacebar on it, and I'm gonna lower it down a few notches, like three-ish notches total, just because we're starting to work on the top and just having to raise your camera up every single time causes a lot of problems with your view. So now that we have that there, we're going to come over here and I'm gonna grab four of these Tayo mid-cap port tops. And the first one is going to get attached right here onto this tile companionway then we're going to mirror that to this other side by hitting zero z a bunch of times to rotate it have a glitch out up top there so now you're looking at this you got the tile companionway one times one with these two things on the side right behind the cab at fort bridge like so then we will come over here and we will be grabbing both stroud cap a port four tops bringing them over here all these glitches do work on console that is not something you ever have to worry about this will always work for you. We are going to grab our final Stroud Cap C aft top. And it is going to stick right off the back like this. So you'll see the cockpit, the tile one by one companionway. Then you have your Stroud Cap C thing with gaps on both sides. We're going to take our first Stroud Cap A port four top. We're going to be doing a rotation glitch here. And I'm going to rotate it just the once. I'm going to escape here. So it's looking like this. It's kind of hard to get the orientation, but it's upside down. There's a gap. It has this nice little slope, which looks like a good window when you're in here. And the flat part is facing up. I'm going to grab the other one. I'm going to do the same to this side. Sometimes the snapping locations can get a little bit weird here. So you kind of have to fendangle with it and work with it and work with your camera angle. I didn't mean to lower that so many times. I just wanted to fix my own camera angle. There we go. Let's get this to go right here. Z, Z, Z. Dang it. It went down one. Okay. You guys can see what I'm talking about. We're not the only ones that struggle with everything. Come on. Nope. Went down again. Okay. Re-grab it. Try again. Not everything works the first time. Sometimes they're really, really finicky. Like, why does it want to snap so far down every single time? I couldn't freaking tell you, but dang it, it really, really wants to. Yank that out there. Rotate the camera around. Bring my camera back down to zero. Grab this thing again. Come in here. What do you want to snap to down there and why? All that stuff is considered attached. Ooh, you are not. We'll fix that after I figure this one out. Okay. Z, 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 escape. Got it. They're finicky, these glitches, but they do always end up working in the long run. But you can see here, these are mirrored where the sloping is going outwards like that and the flat bit like that. Uh, I did notice that this piece was not attached, and it is a glitched piece. So when you have a glitched piece not attached, if you just hover your mouse over it, hit spacebar, Okay, well, that's a bad example because it yeeted it into non-existence. Hover your mouse over and hit spacebar. Okay, this is a really, really bad example. Where are you trying to yeet yourself to? Or current, well, normally it doesn't yeet itself down one. Okay, so we're just going to have to redo this drop glitch here, which isn't that big of a deal. We're just going to reattach that there and make sure that's good. It's there. We're going to take this Stroud Cap C4 F top. I'm going to all G to drop glitch it again. Hit delete and double click to make sure it's all reattached and does. Usually it just highlights it exactly where it is. And if you don't move anything, you can hit enter again or select or escape or whatever. And it just reattaches it exactly where it is if a glitch part isn't attached to your ship. So we are now going to grab our Tayo mid cap port tops, which I put in the workstation a while ago and have just been sitting off on the side. We're going to bring them here and we're going to rotate glitch these until they look just like this. They are now glitched in to this Stroud Cap A port four, like this with a rounded edge on the outside. I'm going to mirror that on this side as well. Again, it does get a little bit weird with your positioning, but just like that, these are now glitched in here to make your windows on your ship. Double check to make sure everything's attached, and it is. We are then going to grab our two Tayo Cowling four tops. I'm gonna bring these back here. We're going to hit arrow key to transform these into the rear facing versions. We're going to attach these to the back of this top level right here. Like so you can see what we did uh, where they're just attached to the back on either side of the end of the trout cowling in the middle. Right above these really nice simple easy orientation just like that. Now we're going to get into the slightly more complicated drop glitching here. Uh, because it actually requires a whole bunch of pieces and this whole little building of a structure here. We're going to bring what we are going to be drop clutching into our workstation, which is two, or our only two Stroud Cat B port 4 Fs, and our last two Tile Mid Cat port 4 Tops. We're also going to grab our Galleon S204 cargo hold and bring it over here. Now, 
I am going to use this cargo hold as the base. And we're going to Alt G this, Alt G this again. So we now have a stack of three. I'm going to delete the bottom two because we do have part limits. I'm going to Alt G this again and bring it one forward. So you now have this thing hovering three high and one over. Now we are going to drop glitch this Galleon S204 cargo hold twice like that. And then we are going to delete these top two. We're going to leave this one floating here to build off of it later. But you can see now, this is now glitched into the front of the Cabot C4 bridge. It does not glitch through on the inside. You cannot see it on the inside, so it doesn't bother inside. It looks really good on the outside here. Now, I'm going to control G this Galleon S204 cargo hold, move it over one. Then I'm going to take our Stroud Cat B port aft. I'm going to Z it to transform it into a Stroud Cat B STBD aft. And we're going to come up here and we're going to attach it here just like this. And then we are going to drop glitch this. Ah, oh, you see how it wanted to go up? Screw it, you're allowed to go up. Ooh, we are at a part limit though. So that going up thing is going to be a complicated pain in my buttocks. We are going to delete our filamenter 800 suppressors over here just to grab some more part limits for these glitches. I'm gonna Alt G it down, Alt G it down again like that. And then we are going to delete the top one and the middle one, leaving this one here. Just like that for now, we can also delete that cargo hold. We are then going to take a tile mid cap port top. We are going to Z it till it transforms into a tile mid cap STBT top. So you can see the angled bit of this is going to be facing inward towards the ship. And we're going to come up here and place that up here on this third level. I know it's really complicated. I'm not showing it a orientation, but if you still have this thing hovering three up and then you have your Stroud Cat B standard aft, and then you have your Tile mid cap STBT top hovering too high. We're gonna drop glitch this twice, just like so. And then we can delete everything on this side. So you now have a cargo hold, quad stripped in the center, glitch dropped in the center. You have a Stroud Cat B dro uh, glitch dropped off to the side. And then behind that, you have a Stroud mid cap STBT top, glitch dropped. Ooh, so many words to talk about here. We're then going to repeat that process to the other side. So we're going to control G to copy the Galleon S204 cargo hold back here. We're then going to take our Stroud Cat B port aft. We're going to make sure that this angle is facing inwards. This stops it from glitching into this when you're inside. And it looks really, really nice. And we're going to drop glitch this to the top because that's how this one wants to work. And we're going to double glitch drop it down. And then I'm going to yeet the wrong things by accident. So I'm going to take the top one and move that one down one. So I have a place to build my tile mid cap port off of. And we're going to do that right here up here. And we're going to Alt G, Alt G, Alt G. It didn't want to do it twice. So I'm going to delete the top one, Alt G it to get it go down. Delete these two here. And that is officially glitch drop down. So that is the complete window area completed and glitch drop. So now we can delete this Galleon S204 cargo hold that was hovering in the air. And this is what it should look like. I'm going to go over all these parts one more time. You should have your cargo hold here. Then you should have your Stroud Cat Bs on the left, the Stroud Cat B on the right with their angles facing in. So you can barely see them right here, slanted in. Then you should have your tile mid cap over here and over here again slanted so everything's facing in and there's like this kind of like if i could remove this there's just like a void in here which is what you want so it doesn't glitch on the inside and then we're going to take our demos spine f4 and we're going to stick that right here just right here in the dead center of the on top of the demos infirmary right behind the tile end cap right here at the front i'm really starting to lose my voice here uh, apparently we have two extra Demos Hallways, probably from copying things, so these aren't going to be used. So I'm just going to delete them, and I have no idea where I got my number so wrong. I'm going to shrink things into my workspace here. But we're going to take an equipment plate, the only one you should have left. We're going to put it here, then we're going to copy that times two. We're going to put one on each side. So you should now have an equipment plate on top of your Galleon S204 cargo hold on each side of this middle thing, and one on top of the Demos Spine F. Rotate this around so you can get a little bit better view. And we will take our Taskusasasu. It's embarrassing that I can't say that. 50k missile launcher. And we're going to put that right on top to be the blower once we cover this up. Then we're going to take our Stroud Nose Cat B, just one of them. We're going to go to the center here. And I'm going to rotate glitch this by hitting ZZ Escape. And it's now the center of the hood of the car. We're going to notice that this is not attached. So I'm going to hit spacebar over it and then just immediately put it back down. It is now attached to the ship. Same with that one. It should now be attached to the ship. Looks like every single piece other than this one. 
is attached to the ship. So we're still doing good. Doing good there, not too bad on the glitches there. Then we're going to come in here, we're going to go to weapons. We're going to buy back our PBO 175s because we are now officially done with all of our drop glitching and everything else. Uh, there's still a few rotation glitches to be done, but that is not a big deal. All of the drop glitching is done. Uh, come on down here, get that to weirdly attach there. I'm just gonna all G it in reality to, to mimic that one there. Did I, I thought I bought another one. Whatever, so I all g that, so we now have two PV-175 helium beams, one on each side of this ship here. All g just copy and paste in this game. I don't know what the controller buttons are, but you now have one on either side here. Those are going to get hidden in the hood here in a second. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to grab our two Nova Cowling 2 LPFs. We're going to put it here. It's going to be red. We're going to ZZ for the rotation glitch. We're going to stick that there. Then I'm going to mirror it on this side like this. So they're both slanted, kind of like this weird angle like this, kind of funneling into the center of the cockpit. I'm going to double click to make sure all that stuff is actually attached. We're then going to grab our two Stroud nose cap bees. You know what? I just realized I forgot the engines. There is a second pair of engines that go in the back of this thing that I completely forgot to do, which is like the very beginning of this build. So we're going to take these Stroud nose cap bees and we're going to ZZ them. And I'm gonna hit escape to glitch these into the front just like that. Come over here and ZZ drop glitch that one into there. It's not a drop, it's a rotation glitch. So now your hood is now done. We will do this flarings at the end after we bring our engines in here, which I think we can still do. These white dwarfs shouldn't be too big of an issue here. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to control click my port aft and my Stroud mid bracer back here. We're gonna yank these out on both sides. Not a big deal, it just is what it is. We're going to take these white dwarf 330 30 engines, 330, it's 30 30 engines, and I'm going to stick these in here just like this. Now we're going to drop glitch these down with Alt G, and I'm going to delete that, Alt G, drop them down, delete that. So now you should have your white dwarf 30 30 engines merged into your done 7 1 engines down here at the bottom. You can see how they're completely inside of each other. Then we're just gonna take these uh, little bits here and I'm just going to reattach them into there. And we're just gonna pretend like I didn't completely, almost completely screw up the entire build. Now we're gonna put the finishing touches on this ship. I'm gonna grab every single piece I have and just bring them into the workstation just to tighten up the camera angle and make it not so crazy for me to look for things and search all over the screen for everything. We're going to take a Demos Wing A port and we're going to hit the arrow key to transform into a rear facing one. It's going to go way on the very back here. We're going to hit ZZ to rotate it and glitch it into spot here. So you can see now it's lined up with the end of this Stroud Cowling C. It's completely how it's lined up. And the top is glitched just into the top of this Hope Tech 55 landing gear. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to hit the arrow key to transform it rear facing. I'm going to hit Z to flip it. So you can see how it wants to snap right here on this little side. That's where we want it. And then ZZ escape. And it's glitched in just like that. Make sure everything's connected always and forever, every single step of the way. We're gonna take the next one, we're gonna make that rear facing, and it's just gonna simply put snap right there. I'll give you guys better orientation when I attach this one. So there's going to be a singular gap in between the end of this Demos Wing A and the start of this one right here in the middle. Uh, you can see how it's kind of lined up with the back section of the C4 bridge, but not the front, just like that. This is where your mirrors are going to go when we're ready. Then we're going to grab our first of the Nova Cowling 1 LPS. We're going to transform it into the midsection, the PM version. It's going to get stuck right there. I'm going to do that on this side as well, and then I'll show you orientation of both. Uh, it's going to be right in front of the Demos Wing A, just like so. So right before the end of this one, just right in the middle, there's an open gap there. No glitching required. Now this next one is a Nova Cowling 1 PLF, and it is going to go right in front of it, right there, but it's not going to snap because I did this all in the wrong order. And since I did this in the wrong order, we're actually gonna rip off the Demos Wing A, so we're gonna attach this thing right here like this. Then we're gonna retake the Demos Wing A, and we're gonna ZZ it to make it glitch in like that. That is my bad. The order of operations is a little bit off on the ship because I haven't done the countless hours of redesigning of this ship, which I normally do in my ships, because this is Style of Thugs ship design. Again, he did a wonderful job. We're gonna stick that one right here, so it's these Nova Cowling SM and then the Nova Cowling SF right here attached to each other. We're gonna take the Demos Wing A back on here and ZZ it. So just like that, you have the platform for the mirrors of your hood. I don't know why I called them mirrors of the hood. They're door mirrors, but mirrors of the hood is what we are rocking with. I couldn't even begin to tell you. We're gonna take a Nova Cali 1 LPF. We're gonna stick it to the front of the ship just like this. 
the little rounded flaring options of your hood. And we're going to take these and we're going to transform them in two, two flat pieces. I'm going to Z it to flip it over and then we're going to ZZ to rotate glitch it right there behind the landing gear. You can see how it's starting to make the rounded part of the front of the car here. ZZ rotate you in again there's going to be the one gap behind it like so and then we're going to take our last two nova cowling 1l pfs and we're going to transform them into the straight versions like so and then we're going to snap these in just like that and then i'm going to take this one rotate it over and snap it into the very last open spot here and just like that the v8 is completely assembled all that is left is the weapons flight check i'm going to assign the pv 175s to my left mouse I'm going to assign the, uh, ooh, we did not get all the weapons on here. We're going to add back our Filamenter 8000 suppressors right there. And I'm just going to control copy this one and drag and drop it over here just like so. And you now have the mirrors and now the entire ship is completely together. We go into flight check weapons. This is going to become the Filamasters. These are going to become the missile launchers. And just like that, all air should be gone. Again, double click your ship, drag it around, make sure everything's attached to it. Super simple here. Uh, again, this is probably the most complicated ship build I've ever done as far as the glitching, trying to explain things. It's it's rough and it's really hard to like orientate and explain and show everything. Hopefully I did a good enough job. Hopefully I didn't let you down there, style of thug. She did a wonderful design here and I really do appreciate you reaching out to me to make this video. And yes, we're gonna do the painting real quick. And then uh, we're gonna do the outro. So let's get into the painting here real quick. And uh, first off, I'm gonna double click the entire ship. I'm gonna hit J to do what he did on his Reddit post. We're going to just drag all the way over into the maximum red. I'm gonna hit enter just to get that as a paint swatch. Then I'm gonna hit J again after double selecting the whole entire ship. We're just gonna turn to red. We're gonna click every single thing to the brightest red possible is all we're doing here. I'm going to hit enter. We are going to control click, which is multi-select. I'm not sure what the key bindings are on controller but on keyboard it's control then i'm going to click on each landing gear you're going to see me do it on all four corners i'm going to click on the bridge then i'm going to click on these four tile mid cap things here two two on both sides then we're going to come around we're going to click on this back license plate thing and we're going to click on the demos hull we're going to click on the white dwarf engines right here just like that we're going to come around to the front. We're going to click on the Demos Hall A. We're going to click on the Porthole 4. We're going to click on the Tile End Cap Stroud while holding control for all of these. We're going to click on the Porthole 4 and the in the back, the Demos Hall A, just like so. And I'm double checking myself to make sure that is everything that we turn black. We are also going to click on the Tile Cowling Aft Tops. This is why I double checked myself while rotating around. And then we are going to hit J. Then we're going to take this brightness bar and we're going to crank it all the way down to as dark as it goes to make all of these things just full black across all three color schemes. The very, very top. So you now have your windows, you have your tires, you have the uh, grill section here, you've got your headlights, and you have this rear area that shows off the uh, exhaust back here and the engine license plate is black. Then you are going to grab the Stroud nose bap in the middle. You're gonna grab this cargo bay, you're gonna grab this tile companionway, the Stroud Cap C at the top, the Stroud Cap C on the back, and this one little Nova Cowling thing here. And we're going to hit J again. We're gonna drag the saturation bar all the way down to as white as it can possibly go. We're gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna kind of have to sneeze, but probably not actually sneeze, because I'm recording and now I'm talking about it and my body's like, oh, well, we're gonna mention it, we're not gonna sneeze. Then we're gonna continue the video by uh, saying that is the color scheme that he has used for his design of the red. I have a white and teal version, which I really like where I did a white body with a teal stripe down the middle. But this is what I am here to display. And this will be the collector's limited edition run. And you can paint it yourself afterwards from Dig Big Industries. But again, it's a really, really cool build design from Style of Thugs. Again, I can't take credit. I'll put a link to the Reddit post in the description, maybe in the comment as well. Uh, there was a whole bunch of news articles that got pushed to my phone and people that picked up on this, like IGN and stuff. It's a really, really cool thing. It was about a week ago. So show them some love over there. And it's really, really awesome, everyone. We're going to back out here. We're going to hit yes, just so you guys can see that this is the cemented version. Then we're going to back out of here. We're going to go into here into our stats here we're gonna end the video on the stats so it's no mystery 
here we are. These are the final stats that I got while building this. The one you guys could see me actually built here. And yeah, this thing looks really, really cool. I could never build some of this myself. I am not like a mimicker or a copier. I just, he did a really, really good job, everyone. And I'm just rambling at this point. It's the end of the video. It is 3.36 a.m. here. It's late. I'm losing my voice. Rambling. Do all the YouTube stuff. Like, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell notification. Check out his Reddit stuff over there. Give him some, some upvotes or something. You know what it is. And I'll see you all in the next one. Dig big. Out! Don't pause the video here. Don't be a peeper. Ooh, I went peeper. That got a little... I'm glad I didn't do that one throughout the whole main video. Paper weights. What are their P words? In the comments, if you made it this far, list P words. And don't just like Google P words. Come on. What, what, first five P words you can think of off your head. Let's go with that one. Bye, everyone.